both UVA and Richmond had quarterback competitions during their fall camp and despite the disparity on the scoreboard and in some of the stats both head coaches were happy with the way their choice at QB1 played on Saturday night. We're proud of just the maturity and growth and, and so you saw uh, and again not everybody's going to be able to see the same things as we do as coaches but I thought he made some heads up plays you know he went out of bounds a couple times but shows progress I thought he did a really good job of, of taking care of the ball. I feel like he's grown up a lot since last year over the uh, offseason he's put in a lot of work over the ball security and just learning how to grow and mature and be that uh, guy that we need. And it's even though that we were, we were getting pushed back pretty hard sometimes and, and losing but I think our confidence was growing like we knew we could get down the field. I think it was really good that we scored before half. I thought our running backs looked really good. I thought Kyle played really well, played hard. Um, and so, you know, it, it's hard to figure out what to take away when you play a BCS school. Anthony Calandria had nearly 350 yards of total offense for the Cavaliers and more importantly did not commit a single turnover. They open their ACC play on the road next week against Wake Forest while the Spiders have their home opener against Wofford. At Scott Stadium in Charlottesville, Lane Casadante, CBS 6 Sports.